In today's video, we're going to be checking out the Breville Barista Touch. And we've been using the Express Barista model for over three years and decided to upgrade to the Touch. So mostly I'm going to go over of what we like and don't like about this Touch compared to the older Express. And they are quite similar, but very different in how they operate. So the Barista Touch here has a large touchscreen display, as you can see here up front. Let's go ahead and push the power button. You guys can see it lights up. You got a little logo there and the pump pumps up. So the main highlight of the touch is that you do have this large touch screen that you know you interact with. And so a lot of things are done in there and you're either going to love that or you're going to hate it. So we coming from the express where everything is manual, it's a little bit strange to interact with the touch and seems like it would be more convenient, but it actually slows things down, at least for us. Now that doesn't mean that the touch is not superior because it is. And the reason for that is because it's got lots of programs for different types of drinks. Also, what makes it great is that you can put in some custom ones like we have here. That's called JVM there so the machine itself is not very large it's 12.7 inches wide by 15.5 deep and 16 inches tall but yeah it's pretty good compact size which should fit pretty much anywhere and that's what makes the barista models quite appealing because they could work in pretty much any kitchen being very feature packed and still somewhat compact so the one you're seeing here is in stainless steel but they have a couple other choices we like the more industrial stainless steel look and one of the other things about the touch here is that it has a lot of chrome on it so the express was kind of like a brushed aluminum kind of like this everywhere but the touch has a lot of chrome like here and even the handle and all this is chrome and we prefer the brushed aluminum even though this looks fancier but it's harder to keep this cleaner and nicer looking because you're able to see every little thing on it if you have like a small little dent or something you'll be able to see it way easier because it's like a mirror finish on everything so so that's more of a preference but yeah just keep in mind that the touch is a lot more shiny and even just the plastics are more shiny which is kind of interesting and the metal that it is brushed it's coated with clear coat i think and that makes makes it more shiny also than the Express. So the machine is quite simple to use. You just put your coffee beans in the hopper here and then you got the grinder that grinds them and they fall into the cup here just like that. And then you have a tamper here that pulls out, it's magnetic. And then you can tamp the ground coffee. And then once you get this in here, then you choose what kind of drink you want. So let's say we want an Americano here. And then here we are presented with some options and you can adjust here the duration and the size of the grind and you have a knob here on the side where you can adjust it and make it finer or coarser so we found that 12 is pretty good for us and the screen is interactable so anything you touch you can adjust so here we can adjust how many seconds it grinds for so for the cup that we're using 10 is the right amount and here you can choose the size of the cup either it's a double or a single and then we have the brew here in the middle and here you can actually customize it too you can make it large medium or small the brew so and then we got a special button just for hot water and if we push that it's gonna heat up the water and start spraying it out of there so i'm gonna go ahead and stop it and then at the very right here we have the milk frothing also is quite unique about the touch is because it does have its own sensor here and when you put the milk in the cup and put the wand inside and set it down on the sensor when you turn it on it's going to froth it until a certain temperature which for this drink it's set at 160. even though this thing has a lot of features and everything it seems like the process of making one is definitely more cumbersome compared to a manual express where you do everything yourself but the huge advantage is that more people that don't know how to use this thing can make a coffee by just pushing buttons and you know setting the thing under so to add your own customized profile i guess is you're going to click on add new here and so here you can choose between the different things that are available or you can you know completely go from scratch and make your own so here you can, we're going to add water so we can add the water for however many seconds before you know the drink starts then we're going to add brew 25 seconds is fine and then the milk and here we can adjust the temperature higher or lower so i found that around 140 is actually perfect and here we can froth more or less depending on how you like your milk if you like it really fine you can you know go all the way up so once we're done adjusting all that we'll just say okay and then we're going to choose a icon here of i guess what's available let's choose that one and then you can name it i'll just put in jv here and we'll push okay and now we created our own drink here and every time we click on it these things will come up the same always and you can still adjust it all by clicking on it and fine tuning it but let's say if you want to adjust something here what you're going to do is you're going to go back here to the main menu and you're going to click and hold it 
and then it'll pop up that you can edit or delete it and you can only do that from the main menu so if you need to adjust it you have to do it here so if we click on edit now we can edit everything again so so yeah that's pretty much the basics you kind of figure it out and it's actually not as complicated as it seems and so the water tank in the back is two liters capacity and that's enough to make quite a few drinks but it's not huge by any means so you know refilling is definitely a job if you use it a lot but it does have a nice handle and it pops out there is quite a large filter inside and also there is a little magnet in here that goes up and down as the water goes down so when the water goes close to the minimum level here it prompts it on the screen that you need to add more water so you're never going to you know be in the middle of making your coffee and not have enough water because the machine will let you know that you're low and also we have a pretty nice tray here that pops out and we can store some of the uh, cups in the back there for storage and other things and overall this thing comes apart quite easily it just pops all up and this thing pops up too and it's easy to clean in the sink and just rinse it and slide it back in and there is a little indicator here that pops up that tells you when it gets full now when we do make the coffee so let's say we click on brew the advertised heat up time is three seconds and i'm not sure if it's preheated right now or not normally if you turn it on choose what you want and then go straight for brew it really does only take three seconds and it starts pouring out the coffee so i'm going to click it here real quick and we can see here one two three and there it goes so that's usually how it works every time and also the wand is really quick too there's no waiting around like on the express where it takes a while this thing does it pretty much immediately and you guys can see it's already frothing so it's really quick and also one thing to mention about the frothing is that you do have to put quite a bit of milk into your cup because since you're just going to lower it in there like that the frother doesn't go all the way down or close so there's like a you know nice gap there so you have to add quite a bit of milk in to the minimum and so we don't normally use a lot of milk so this becomes kind of a little bit of a waste now you can do it manually if you just raise it like this and you can manually you know froth it yourself but then you're back to the manual you're not taking advantage of all the features so i guess you know it's kind of a positive and a negative at the same time but yeah overall i would say it's a really nice machine and you have quite a few different kinds of coffees you can make so we got espresso americano latte flat white cappuccino water and then you know your own stuff and then you got hot milk also if you want to do that but yeah the touch screen definitely makes it feel quite modern and fancy i guess but honestly after using the express the manual machine i wouldn't say that the touch screen really has anything too much of an advantage over the more basic simple barista express because there's nothing really here that you do that you can't do there it's just more manual so if you wanted the touch screen because you're into that stuff then you know this thing definitely does everything well and makes great coffee so let's say if you're on a budget and you like to do more manual kind of coffee making i would still recommend the express and that's what we like better but if you're someone that enjoys the more automatic and you do have the budget it does look more shiny and more impressive i guess and it is a little bit easier to use too or and to learn how to use it is much simpler than the express with all the manual controls don't get me wrong this is an excellent machine if you like your coffee a lot and you want to make it at home you definitely can't go wrong with this thing all right guys well hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did then hit that like button and if you want to pick up a machine for yourself i'll have some links in the description check that out and if you enjoy videos like this i do other interesting things on this channel so stay tuned for more and as always thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one